Thank you for the Army Recognition Editorial Team at Shield Africa 2019, the International Defense and Security Exhibition in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. Today we had the chance to make a lot of interviews to see latest innovation and technology of military and security equipment. It's very important for the African countries to have the latest innovation and the latest product to increase border security and internal security of the countries. I'm marketing manager at DroneVault and the main activity of the company is uh, manufacturing drone uh, for defense, security, but also construction and agriculture. So we have a subsidiary in, uh, in Holland, so 80% uh, of the drones are produced next to Paris in Villepinte uh, and the rest of the drones are produced next to Amsterdam. We have different types of drone, uh, starting with the smallest, which is the Hercules 2. This is a drone which is uh, just up there, and also you can see the old version here. In a few weeks we will have a new version of uh, this micro drone. And uh, this micro drone is equipped with um, a dual camera, so a daylight camera with a zoom uh, time 20, which uh, allows you to be able to see vehicle up to 700 meters and a person up to 400 meters and read the car plate until three to five to 400 meters. Then after we have the Hercules 5, the Hercules 10 which is not here and the Hercules 20 which can respectively uh, carry uh, about 4, 10 and 20 kilos and that can be equipped with different kind of payloads such as camera, dual cameras but also uh, spraying tools uh, and many many other uh, sensors such, such as uh, sniffers, multispectral and, and so on. This is uh, called a VTOL, this is our Ellie plane and uh, this VTOL uh, can land and take off uh, vertically and then after it does a transition and fly like a plane. So the, the flight time is twice uh, more important than uh, normal drones. It's eight, 90 minutes instead of about 30 minutes for all the drones. Uh, and it can allow you to do a border inspection, for example, or like long time, long, uh, long run inspection. For all the border surveillance, this kind of uh, equipment is uh, kind of compulsory because uh, except for planes or helicopter, it's very hard to do a long run surveillance. So you save up some money because it's much cheaper to operate. Uh, also, you avoid human risk because there is no pilot inside. And the last drone we have is a Hercules 5 UF, which means unlimited flight. Uh, and this drone is linked to the ground by a cable which goes up to 100 meter high. And this is a, uh, like a transformer. So you can fly it for one hour, two hours, one day, two days. And uh, you have also a dual camera with a thermal and a uh, 30 times zoom camera. My name is Timur Nurgaliev, I am a sales director of Armitex LLP and Navico LLP. Our main business is parachute braking system, we are manufacturing of that for fighter aircrafts. We also do uh, semi knockdown assembling of tank engines and overhauling it. Um, uh, we came here to see the market in Africa and to uh, promote our products here. This parachute system is used for uh, shortening the landing row while la uh, the, para the aircraft is landing. It's a very important part of the uh, aircraft. Without that, uh, it is very dangerous to land. And uh, the engine is the heart of the tank and any kind of vehicle. So uh, we do uh, overhauling and semi-assembling of these uh, engines for uh, tanks and uh, combat uh, infantry vehicles. We do uh, several uh, services. We can upgrade it as well. We can overhaul uh, the existing uh, engine and uh, we have many services we, we can provide. Uh, we are now uh, uh, signing contracts with several countries but uh, uh, you know it's a really hard business uh, uh, but we are supplier of our products to Kazakhstan and we are uh, 
we signed, uh, we supply every every year uh, a certain amount to our air forces and ground forces. The Tactical is a group of companies uh, dealing with several subjects. First of all, the Tactical is manufacturing and selling, and selling equipments for the soldier. The main booth is the Tactical, but we are a group, we are a cluster of several companies. Smart African Solutions is a system integrator. We are integrating various kinds of equipment, subsystems, in order to set up a system, even setting up a meta system. Uh, we are working in the fields of border security, maritime border, land border. We are also delivering equipment and solutions and systems for the protection of critical infrastructures, oil and gas, ports, airports. Morocco is ramping up in the defense and security sector. You have today uh, major companies from Europe that have setting up their own premises in Morocco, in aerospace, for example. So Morocco intends to become a, a, a leading country in uh, uh, defense and security in the continent. My message which is a small message to Africa, is that there will be no economical growth, there will be no future, economically speaking, if there is no security in Africa. So security in Africa is, is just a must, okay, for the, for the years coming. And to achieve security, it's a matter of setting up electronic systems in order to survey. And once you have surveyed the territory, then you can send any kind of intervention troops in order to act as necessary. I'm an ex-military man. I'm a retired from the military. And uh, I've been in the military all my life. And now I work for the company OTT Technologies which is a South African company. And we are in the business of manufacturing new armored protected vehicles or mine protected vehicles. The company has been in South Africa for almost 40 years. It's in a family business, it's a privately owned company, but we are a fully established member of the South African defense industry family. Also under the umbrella of aerospace maritime and defense in South Africa. Our company, as I say, produces new armored personnel vehicles, personnel carriers, and a family of vehicles. You will see on some of the banners behind me, we indicate that our mainstay product is the Puma M36 uh, armored personnel carrier, but it's part of a family, because we also have a, a, a variant that is a commander control vehicle, an armor ambulance, a recovery vehicle, which is a 6x6 version, and also uh, a bomb disposal vehicle. That is very popular within the peace missions where IEDs and mines need to be removed. Our products are battle proven, very reliable and affordable. We have a cutting edge in terms of price and uh, for that reason I think our vehicles and our products are uh, very popular because we do, do not only supply these vehicles to clients we also, also su support it after delivery by means of training and by means of technical support. The feedback that we received from uh, the users is that in all the incidents that took place be it a mine, landmine or an IED any such attack on these vehicles that the people, the soldiers, were able to get out alive and they are able to tell the story. To new potential customers, we would like to say that we have a product which is proven 
to operate if highly effective in this region, in West Africa. Uh, it is, uh, it's a vehicle with excellent mobility, with very good, the best that you can get protection for these type of vehicles. And then we fit any type of weapon on top of the vehicle that provides effective firepower for whatever uh, the client wants. So to our future clients, we have a solution, which is an African solution for African problems. My name is Stéphane Conan, I am the General Commissioner of Shield Africa Exhibition. 2013, I was uh, going around the world with uh, my minister, I was then an advisor, and we went to various exhibitions around the world. And uh, it was a point where we thought, why instead of going to see uh, defense industry players overseas, why don't we do something in Africa so that all the major players in defense and security come and meet the African decision makers. So this was the challenge that we decided to overtake in 2013. Our main reason for satisfaction this year is uh, the diversification of uh, the exhibitors' um, the exhibitors' nationalities. We have, it's true, the main uh, countries, the main players' country in defense and security, but we have also uh, Non-common countries like uh, Bulgaria, we have uh, Kazakhstan, we have Morocco. So everybody today is represented as Shield Africa. Indeed, 2021, uh, we're going to have Shield Africa again in Abidjan uh, from January 25 to 28. We expect, of course, uh, more uh, more exhibitors, more visitors. We are going to, to work on the, having a better media coverage, uh, especially from international media. And uh, yes, we expect great meetings and uh, great encounters like this year. First of all, the message is uh, thank you. Thank you for the trust in Cogest Africa. Thank you for the trust in Cote d'Ivoire and in Shield Africa. A lot of the, the visitors came from a very, very long way. We hope that uh, we have uh, provided a satisfactory uh, exhibition and uh, we want and we are welcoming you already for 2021. The next edition of Shield Africa is in 2021, in January. But the next coverage for Army Recognition and our team is IDEX and NAVDEX in Middle East United Arab Emirates from the 17th to the 21 February. Come to see us and see our latest news and video coverage.